guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So tonight, this guy comes out on Global. Now, his celebration is really not the most exciting. Um, his banner is not the greatest. Um, this unit's not really carrying a lot of hype right now. Um, but this is a really good character. Um, this Dokkan Fest Trunks right here. Um, I think this guy is really quite good. Um, I, a matter of fact, he's one of the best units in the game. Um, he will be able to perform well in the Ultimate Red Zone. The only thing is he does just need, I think, slightly better teams. I think what, when I say that, I just mean like better leader skills for these teams, really. Um, he is about to uh, get access to the full 180% Vegeta family team, which definitely can be good for him, right? Because it's going to have all the Trunkses, all the Vegetas on that. It's going to be really good with uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's easy. But I'm recording this before then, right? Um... So, basically, the gist of this Trunks is he's really powerful, and he's able to do a lot of attacks um, in one turn. Potentially even three super attacks, which can be very impressive. He does also have a transformation, but it's like if you break down his entire kit, it, it, like this, Trunks has, he is the only character in the game that gets worse when he transforms, right? Like, it's like... Like, Android 13 does different stuff, but there's no way I'm saying he's worse after he transforms, right? This guy, like, again, I, I just feel like he's outright worse. They gave him a bunch of abilities in Super Saiyan that don't work five plus turns into the fight. So, it's unfortunate. Let's go and take a look at what Trunks is going to look like. Um, we have a pretty good opening rotation for him, but I, I can't put him in the middle side. We'd have everything activated except for Messenger from the Future right there. His link set being Messenger from the Future. Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Lineage, um, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shocking Speed, and then Fierce Battle. Um, and then Saiyan Warrior Race just becomes Super Saiyan when he transforms into Super Saiyan Trunks. Um, now, uh, one issue with his Link set is that he has uh, Shocking Speed instead of Prepared for Battle. That is, I think, an L. Um, he would be better, um, for sure, if he had Prepared for Battle rather than Shocking Speed. But he does have Saiyan Lineage, which means he will work well on... The Hybrid Saiyan team, which does need a better leader skill, though. S your ultimate Gohan when he gets his EZ should fulfill that. Um, so let's take a look at Trunks. So 100% attack and defense start a turn. He gets another 100% attack and defense when attacking. That is actually kind of a big deal because let's, you know, we really should use the ultimate red zone as sort of like the bar to measure characters, but, you know, they still need to be good for like super auto road stages and stuff like that as well, right? Because Dokkan will release, you know, content and form the missions and, you know, uh, Super Battle Road Sage is geared towards certain categories and blah, 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 blah. So here's the thing with our boy Trunks, right? He's getting that 100% when attacking. That's good because there's several fights uh, in the red zone that seal at the start of turn. So the fact that all he does is just attack and he gets his um, defense, I think, is really, really quite good. Um, and then there's also, he gets a 70% chance to launch two additionals. Let's go ahead and see this at work right here. Let's see what our boy Trunks does. Um, we have, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, um, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle all activated right there. So let's go ahead and see what we get in terms of attack stat. Remember, when it comes to Trunks' attack stat, that he has, he's gonna attack once, he's gonna have a guaranteed additional... Um, which an additional normal. Then he has a 70% chance of another additional normal. And then after he does three attacks, he does a guaranteed attack that has a 70% chance of being a super, which is just crazy, right? So there's that. There's a guaranteed normal. We didn't get it. Wow. Oh my God. That's such bad luck. Damn it. His first turn had to be that. So typically what happens, right? So Trunks will do a super. Then you get the guaranteed additional normal. Then if either... It procs from his passive, where you get the 70% chance to get the second additional normal, or you get your hidden potential system ability to, to proc. Then, once he does three attacks in a turn, he does another attack that has a 70% chance. So, at Trunks' best, he will super attack, normal, normal, super, super. That's Trunks at his best. He'll do five attacks with three super attacks. Every super attack he does, he gets a 30% defensive increase. He has 30% um, uh, defense on his super attack effect, which is just really, really helpful. Is this Trunks for level 10 links? No, but this is a... I actually found a rainbow Trunks on the friends list, which is crazy, because he's only had one banner. Um, let's see what we get from Trunks right here. Again, this isn't a level 10 links one like mine, 
but we could at least see another turn from him. Um, by the way, for this Trunks, I do recommend going full crit, um, because Trunks is going to be doing a lot of additional normal attacks. So, like, maximizing his crit chance is definitely the way to go right there. These are the equips and stuff like that I gave him. What is the friend Trunks looking like? They went full additional. I mean, I... I definitely can see the value in that, because if you get the additional, you're guaranteeing guaranteeing another attack, right? So, like, you see, like, the 3 million attacks right there. Certainly not that impressive. But if he attacks five times, right, there's a normal attack right there, and he got a crit. Then here's another one. What? Dude, what? Are you... Oh, that is unbelievable. Dude, this Trunks never does that. The first two... This Trunks had 23 additional, too. That's so crazy. Oh, my God. The the unluckiness these first two turns is actually unbelievable to me. Because it's like, what he's typically doing is attacking four and five times per turn. God damn it, Trunks. You're making me look bad, you fucker. All right. Now, we're over here on the Battle of Wits slash Majin Buu Saga team. Um, remember that Trunks, you know, has a lot of links with uh, characters that I consider have some of the best link sets in the game. You know, the STR Vegito, the Tech Gogeta, Heart Virus Goku, all those characters have very similar link sets and they work well with Trunks, right? Um, again, I'd rather Trunks have prepared for battle instead of Shocking Speed, but Saiyan Lineage does help him sort of go along. 3.59 right there. Again, we have at least one guaranteed normal. The thing that I've been getting so unlucky with is that when you get this normal right there. So Trunks then activated a guaranteed attack after that. He had a 100% chance to do another attack and then that had a 70% chance of being a super. So at least um, four attacks is very common with Trunks, right? And then by the time you do four attacks, that's four separate procs to get your additional uh, from your hidden potential system, right? Because, you know, the hidden potential system additional, it has a chance to activate in every single attack, right? It works like that for, like, the Vegito counters. Every one of the Vegito uh, counters before they attack can proc um, the uh, hidden potential system additional, right? So, it just becomes these things where Trunks is usually doing four attacks, like, nearly every turn. And then there's going to be a lot of times where you're going to see five attacks from him. And especially if he triples supers... His defense becomes very, very good. Um, he could easily touch like 400k plus, especially if you have Cold Judgment activated. So like right here is a really strong turn. We have all seven of Trunks' links activated on this turn with support from the Hybrid Saiyan support Trunks. Yeah, look at that defense, dude. He gets 100% when he supers, so it doubles. So he'll be at 300k defense when he super attack or when he attacks right here. And then every super is giving him 30% defense as well. So, this Trunks just starts to go so, so crazy. And again, I give him full crit because we see him do all these normal attacks. You know, these bosses in the red zone have so much health, so much defense that crits are really so important too. So, here we go. Let's see. What is Trunks' first super attack at? 4.78. He could easily triple super right here. He could do three of those, right, with all these normals caked in as well. Like, he should, he's so dumb. But here you go. Here's a guaranteed, but we only got a normal. And then he potentially could have gotten his, his hidden potential system attack after that. Like, this Trunks just gets really dirty with the amount of attacks he's doing. His defense becomes pretty good. You rack up the crits, that's going to rack up the damage. Trunks is strong. A very good character. All right, guys. We actually got to this turn right here. This is stunning. But the earliest you could see Trunks do his transformation... Um, is right here on turn six, or excuse me, turn five. Turn, yeah, it's right there on screen, turn five. <laughs> because uh, Trunks needs to do six attacks in battle um, to be able to get, um, to uh, be able to use his active skill transformation. Now, let's see. So, Gogeta's immune to being stunned. He's immune to being attack debuff, sealed. You can defensive debuff Gogeta, though. So, Trunks, right? We could use his active skill. This will transform... This guaranteed stuns and seals the targeted enemy for one turn when he transforms. If Trunks could transform on turn one, this guy would be so crazy. And I think they should have let him. Because, I mean, obviously, fighting Mecha, he could have transformed. He transformed any time. 
right? Like, he slashed up some of Frieza's henchmen, but there's no reason he had to do five attacks. Um, so let's go ahead and do his active skill right here. We might as well. Remember that he guaranteed stuns and seals, but on turn five, uh, what enemies are going to be around that you could stun or seal on turn five? Maybe, I suppose, in like the Bojack fight or the, the Lord Slug or the Turles fight in Ultimate Red Zone, I guess you could do it. But, I mean, to be fair, by turn five, there will be, like, one henchman left who's, like, near death. Even for, like, free-to-play players. Like, I don't... They're not going to last that long. Um, some of them can be sealed, though, for sure. Right? Like, I know Broly in his fight... Broly's the toughest boss in the game, I think. In his first phase, he could be stunned, but it's only his first phase. It's just... Uh, Trunks does all this stuff in Super Saiyan that is just worthless by this point, right? unfortunately. Alright, now I will say too that I really do think that that transformation is very underwhelming. It, it just doesn't look that great. Um, because they took the fighter's transformation for Trunks rather than his anime transformation. When they, I think his anime transformation could be like an intro. Like it, it'll be a, su a, st a start of turn, like it'll be a Super Saiyan Trunks card, right? But he'll just intro into transforming in Super Saiyan. I feel like that could work, right? That would definitely look really cool. Okay, so in Super Saiyan, um, he now greatly raises attack and defense for one turn on a super attack effect. Um, he gets a 70% chance to crit, um, and then he does guaranteed crits on his first super attack, um, and then he gets 100% attack and defense on super attack as well. Um, so he now, it's not just attacking where he gets the attack and defense, he does have to super, keep that in mind. Then he gets extra attack if the enemy's in attack down or defensive down, extra attack if the enemy is stunned or sealed, and then he has a high chance to stun the attacked enemy for two turns. If all allies in the same turn are Android has Cell Saga characters, it's like, what the hell? Like, I, I just, you lose all these attacks, all this damage he could deal for Trunks hitting definitely harder. I mean, he definitely hits harder, like, in one burst in Super Saiyan than he does in base. But it just, I don't know. He, he's just, to me, he seems far more impressive um, when he's in base, right? So, I mean, here his defense is going to be insane, right? Because... He's getting 100% when he supers. Um, then he's getting 50% from his super attack effect. So it's like his defense is going to be damn near 400k right here. Along with a guaranteed crit on this attack. And whatever damage he does right here as well. So let's go and see what he does. Um, and Trunks gives us a 5.85. Remember, that's a guaranteed crit. That's, and that's a good turn. You know, with that Trunks, we have most of his links activated. Everything except for what? Shocking Speed and I think Saiyan Lineage are the only two links he did not have activated. Um, and we had double support right there on a full 170% lead, lead team. So, like, those are the kind of numbers that that, you guys could see, right? Just, like, he just seems far less impressive in Super Saiyan. Because all this extra shit he does or can do is worthless turn 5 and beyond, right? Super Battle Road. If this guy could transform turn 1, and you could use Super Saiyan Trunks turn 1 in Super Battle Road, or you could take advantage of him guaranteed stunning an enemy... For one turn with his transformation and Super Battle Road, he'd be way better. But as it stands to reason, there's actually almost never a reason to transform into Super Saiyan. Besides just to see the animations and stuff like that. Like, you're, you're just better off leaving him in base. It's weird. Alright, now we're over here on the future team. I keep getting Trunks on damn... Uh, <laughs> I, I keep getting him on slot 7. It is what it is, man. Alright, let's go ahead and see what uh, kind of damage we get on this turn. Just want to get a couple more turns of Trunks. I think we'll probably hop into a quick um, red zone fight. Just so that Trunks can sort of spread his wings a little bit on one of these tougher bosses. And we can hopefully see him do one of these turns where he super attacks twice and attacks five times. Or, you know, does one of those types of turns. Five million right there. Oh my god. I saw, he did a five million. Again, he could do three of those with two normals. Like, that's... That's where Trunks starts to look super crazy. God damn, Trunks. Calm down. That's impressive. That that was, again, that's a pretty good showing right there um, by my boy Trunks. He's good. I, I am a big fan of this Trunks, for sure. 
Um, I'm one of the big stands of him. I think he's really good. I don't think he's quite up to snuff with, like, the androids and Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I do feel like they're a, they're a bit above this Trunks. But Trunks is really, really good, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna, like, shit on him at all or anything like that. I do think Trunks is better than most of the um, Dokkan Festival exclusive uh, units that are out, right? Um, including most of the LR stuff like that. Um, Trunks' power is just really, really good, right? So let's do one more turn, and then we'll go ahead and skip ahead. We'll go to, like, I don't know, maybe, like, the cooler fight or something like that. We'll go to one of these fights, um, and we'll, we'll try and see our boy Trunks in there. All right, so here's this future Gohan transformation. Remember that in future Gohan is a little bit better with a lot of the future Saga buffs, right? Although, I mean, there has been major power creep, right, with Red Zone and stuff like that. But, yeah, you get it. Um, yeah, let, let's just do this this right here. Let's see what Trunks gets up to linked up with the Int um, future Gohan right here. Um, and then we'll head over to the Ultimate Red Zone to see how things look. Um, and Trunks gives us 3.67. So, you know, he's getting a lot of attack stats like that. Um, and then, again, having all the normal stuff like that afterwards will really rack up the damage. All right, guys, so here we are in the ultimate red zone. I went to the Super 17 fight. I figured that'd be a good fight right here. This will be a good example of Trunks working well on what would be a... This, like, build of the hybrid Saiyan team would be fine in, like, a stage like this, right? Um, the only thing is Tech Ultimate Gohan is great as a leader. He works well with all the strong units on the hybrid Saiyan team. Uh, the only issue is the 130% HP from his leader skill. That's our problem. The rest of uh, everything Tech Ultimate Gohan's got going on is more than fine. Um, this should be a pretty good turn for Trunks. Depending upon how many super attacks we get, he could also eat a super attack. Um, if he got three supers right here, we probably would be able to... Maybe not, because again, our, our health is just so low. Uh, I'm used to running these ultimate red zones with like the 200% leader skill units, right? Where it's like you've got 700,000 HP because, you know, you're using a lot of those LRs on there. And it's like, oh no, I got super to 400k. I'm down to uh, under half. Like I'm like at like 40%. Like it's crazy, right? All right, so there's a super attack. Good damage right there. Here's a normal. All right, let's get at least four attacks right here, Trunks. There's a normal super. Ah, we didn't get the super attack, but that's right. He's got one more coming right here. One more coming? No. Okay. So we didn't get the hidden potential system additional. He's taking double digits right in here. Um, now, I will say, even though this is only phase one, the two 17s are pretty tough. These two Android 17s are not weak whatsoever. These guys are really... Th this is one thing that's actually pretty tough about this stage. And then also Super Sef um, uh, LR Super Janemba. Super Janemba, right? Janemba and Super 17, these two fights are just like so brief. Um, and the, it's, the bosses are just so strong the whole way through, right? It's just very troublesome. Um, but we're, you know, we're, we're looking pretty good. I think we'll do one more turn, um, and see what our boy Trunks will do. But I mean, you guys can see he, he's even able to hold up, um, in the ultimate red zone, right? Trunks is good. Um, I don't recommend summoning <laughs> at all on global, right? Not, you guys got to summon for some of these, uh, 200% leader skill units. I think that's the best way to go about it. But um, Trunks is definitely, I think, a, a very, very solid unit. Um, I do like him really quite a bit, right? So let me know what you guys are thinking about our boy AGL Trunks. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, another attack in right here um, with Trunks, and then we will finish up, right? Um, only thing to remember with him, again, that Super Saiyan form is no good. <laughs> I don't, like... Even in here, like, if you could do it, there's just, like, no reason to actually do at all. Like, there's... Because it's, like, the chances... We haven't gotten multiple super attacks yet in this video just because I'm the unluckiest Dokkan player ever, right? But your chances for getting, like, multiple supers are pretty good. Okay, so what do we have in terms of links activated right here? Cold Judgment, Sane Lineage, and Fierce Battle Attack Ultimate Gohan. Um, of course, you know... Tech Ultimate Gohan and that Link set, man. Whew, boy, is he good. Tech Ultimate Gohan is so good in this event, too, in the red zone. Like, I, Tech Ultimate Gohan is actually the re... I think he's the reason that a lot of these other guard units have got these weird, like, problems with them. It's just because of how dominant Tech Ultimate Gohan is. 
right? If not for him just being a god, I think, like, LR Janemba would have been slightly better. I think Grade A Vegeta would have been slightly better. You know, some of these characters with these kind of quirks. Again? Dude, this video was so unlucky. Oh, my God. I, I, I've, like, never been this unlucky with Trunks before. This video was so... Hello? <laughs> you want to, like, actually do what you should be doing, man? Damn. This Trunks. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of AGL Dokkan Fest Trunks. Um, he is a definite problem. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.